my dear friends i am going to discuss some problems of electrical circuits i'll explain first in english then in hindi i think uh, then it will be comfortable for all okay to main hindi mein bhi bolunga aap dhairya rakhiye aur mujhe sunte jaiye arm having a resistance of 5 ohm it is cylindrical in shape if it is drawn so that its length becomes doubled what happens to the new resistance the resistance of this was in this was 5 ohm pehle ek cylindrical conductor hai usko aapne kheench diya kisi tarike se taki uski length double ho इसका रेजिस्टेंस क्या होगा कीप इन माइंड व्हेन इट इज ड्रॉन सो दैट द लेंथ इज डबल्ड देयर इज द इफेक्ट ऑन द एरिया ऑफ कोर सेक्शन देयर विल बी इफेक्ट व्हेन द लेंथ बिकम्स डबल्ड एरिया ऑफ कोर सेक्शन इट विल डिक्रीज एंड यू नो आर इट इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू एल as well as a directly l inversely a a mean pi r square area so there is a when the length is made doubled there is no not the only effect of length but it is also changing so then that that the question what about new resistance okay so i am going to have a formula which should be independent of this how so it is equal to you know rho l upon e right i multiply and divide by l so this becomes l square rho upon volume now what happens when the length is made double and then there will not be any change in volume this will remain constant density is also constant no uh, sorry resistivity rho is the resistivity of the wire which is independent of the length and area of cross section so this will remain constant to be is constant r only depends upon the length so r1 is proportional to l1 r2 proportional to l2 now dividing the two not only l it is l square l1 square l2 square so r2 upon r1 l2 square upon l1 square and r2 becomes L2 square upon L1 square into R1. Okay, because it is doubled, so L2 is twice of L1. Twice L1 mean 4 L1 square upon L1 into R1 is what? It is. It is 5 ohm. So now resistance becomes 20 ohm. Now the second question: A copper wire is stretched to make 0.2 percent longer. What is the percentage change in resistance? 0.2 percent longer. Okay. Now again, there is a. They are talking about only the length. Length of the resistance. Okay, of course the formula is rho l upon e but you know when there is a change in length there will be change in area so we don't use this formula so again the same formula which we will use this one r equals to resistivity l square upon v 
So R equals to resistivity L square upon V. So I apply the formula like in case of the air. Remember delta R upon R into 100. There is no change, there is no change. They are constants. That means 2 delta L upon L into 100. So what is delta L upon L into 100? It is given 0.2%. So 2 into 0.2, that becomes 0.4%. मेरे कहने का मतलब है कि जब भी लेंथ को कहते हैं ना चेंज हो गई चाहे डबल हो गई ट्रिपल हो गई पांच गुना हो गई तो ध्यान रखना एरिया भी चेंज होता है साथ में कभी भी इस फॉर्मूले को नहीं यूज करना इस फॉर्मूले को यूज करना जिसमें वॉल्यूम नहीं कभी चेंज होता है ना रेजिस्टिविटी चेंज होती है तो आर का सिर्फ डिपेंडेंस एल में आ जाएगा फिर तो यहां भी हमने वही किया आर का डिपेंडेंस सिर्फ लेंथ पे था तो इसमें जो इसमें यदि चेंज आएगी तो उसमें भी वैसी चेंज आएगी तो इसमें चेंज दिया हुआ है तो इसमें चेंज आप फाइंड कर लो बस ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट ना एक टोस्टर है ये एनसीईआरटी के क्वेश्चन है टोस्टर में कॉयल लगा हुआ फिलामेंट लगा है टोस्टर देयर इज अ फिलामेंट and the resistance of the filament is given, the room temperature is given, and voltage applied is 230 volt. You know, when you switch on the toaster, just after a few minutes, steady state is reached. Can you tell me that when you on it, you know, the filament ka temperature is constant. Now, if the filament ka temperature change hoga, if there is change in the temperature of the filament, Definitely there will be change in the resistance. Because temperature ki change on this and resistance padal jayega, ye nahi jayega, change ho jayega. The resistance will change. And it is given to us in the numerical. When the steady state is reached, this is the, this is the current which is flowing. Steady current. Now voltage, you are having the voltage, 230 volt. You are having current. Then you find now the resistance, what it is, after steady state, like 230 volt is divided by current. Now what is 230 upon 2.68? So this is 85.82, this is ohm. Now this is the resistance. First, firstly, it, this was 75.3. Now it is 85. You just found that it is increased from here to here. जब आपने इसको हीट किया ना, steady state हुआ, heating हो गई, अब heating और हो नहीं रही है, temperature constant हो गया हुआ है, तो तब ना filament का resistance इतना हो गया, बढ़ गया हो, पहले इतना था, वित्ता हो गया. तो आपको ना एक coefficient दिया है question में. Uh, coefficient of resistance. Coefficient of resistance ka matlab hota hai. The coefficient of resistance is given. It is defined as change in a resistance per unit resistance per unit rise in temperature. Alpha ka matlab hota hai ki resistance mein kitta badlaav aaya. Pahle resistance aapke paas uski value kya thi? Or temperature ko kitta increase ya decrease kiya gaya? Change. What you to found? You, what the question is? They are asking what is this temperature? Sorry. Okay. What is this temperature? What is T2? Very simple. What is the value of uh, R T2? Now what is the resistance? 85.82. What was uh, in the initially? 75.3. Again, initial 75.3. What is change in temperature? T2, we don't know. T1, 27. Equals to alpha. Alpha is given to you in the numerical problem. Whatever it is, it is given to you. You write it here, the value of alpha. 
यू नाउ यू कैन फाइंड नाउ आप ना ऐसे करो ये निकालो आप ये अल्फा इधर आ जाएगा ये इस तरफ चला जाएगा नाउ यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टी टू वट इज द सेकेंड टेम्परेचर ठीक वेरी इजी दिस इज यू नो अगेन एन सी आर टी प्रॉब्लम एंड आई थिंक द आंसर इज आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर द आंसर इज एट फोर नाइन See in your book what is the value of alpha. Then you can do. Okay. So this is all. <coughs> so there is another question. This is a English letter E. It is made up of with wire. There is a letter A. It is made up of with wire. Wire is having one ohm per centimeter. This is given twenty centimeter. This is twenty centimeter. Mean distance from here to here. What will be the distance? Twenty ohm. Why? Because one ohm. Because one ohm per centimeter. And distance from here to here will be twenty ohm. Now this is the center of this arm. This center. Now here it is a wire again, ten centimeter long. This is ten. This is ten centimeter. This is ten centimeter. Ten centimeter means ten ohm. This is ten ohm. This is ten ohm. Now they are asking you what is the distance between these two points. So this is ten ohm. This this length. This is ten ohm. Okay. What is the distance between point B and D? Between B and D, very simple. You know, whether when the current will flow, when the current will flow like this, when the current reaches here, it will find two paths. It can go along this side. It can go along this side. Mean these two, this path. And this path are in parallel. Okay, then it go along this. In okay going. Now this path, this path parallel. Again going. Current जब यहाँ आएगा ना, यहाँ पहुँचेगा, उसको मिलेगा दो रास्ते. एक रास्ता जाने को ये, एक ये है. अब एक इसमें जा रहा है, एक इसमें जा रहा है. दोनों current कट्टे होके ऐसे चले जाएंगे. तो ये रास्ता ये रास्ता पैरेलल में क्योंकि यहाँ जाने को दो रास्ते थे तो दो रास्ते क्या होते हैं पैरेलल में तो ये डिस्टेंस कितना है व्हाट इज दिस डिस्टेंस ट्वेंटी ओम व्हाट इज दिस टेन ओम ट्वेंटी एंड टेन आर इन पैरेलल व्हाट इज पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन अपॉन ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन दिस इज पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस Now this is ten ohm, so ten plus ten plus parallel combination again ten plus ten. So this will be the answer between point this and this. Between this and this, ten plus parallel plus ten. Between this and this, only this one. Okay. At the two ends, it is ten plus parallel plus ten. Between the two points, this is only this answer. Okay. Now coming to another problem. Now a circuit is given. They are asking what is the current here? This is a capacitor. Here it is a battery. Now if it is a capacitor and a DC battery is attached. No current can flow along this line, so it does not matter whether this line is present or not. You can remove this line because capacitor main broken path for the DC, and three and two they are in parallel, and find the parallel combination. So 
polar combination 3 into 2 upon 3 plus 2, 6 upon 5. So 6 upon 5 is 1.2. Okay, and uh, this line does not matter, it is there or not. Then we have 28 ohm and 6 volt. So 28 ohm and 6 volt. What is the total? So I am sorry, this resistance is not 28 ohm. This is 2.8 ohm. Okay. Now coming here, this is 1.2 ohm, 2.8 ohm. The total resistance becomes 4 ohm. Okay, 1.2 plus 2.8. Voltage is 6. What will be the current? Current equals to 6 upon 4. That is 1.5 ampere. Now when this current flows, 1.5 ampere, this current, because of this current and parallel combination, there develops a voltage. And what will be that voltage? 1.5 into 1.2, 1.8. So here, one there will be 1.8 volt. Now 1.8 volt. Then you know, like one instead of 1.2 ohm. Actually, this is a parallel combination, and in real, there was three ohm and two ohm, and we just proved potential here. It is. 1.8 volt. So what will be the current in this line? Very simple. 1.8 divided by the 2. That becomes 0.9 ampere. Similarly, you can find current from in this line. 1.8 volt divided by 3. That is 0.6 ampere. So 0.9 ampere, 0.6 ampere it becomes it becomes 1.5 ampere so of course total current was 1.5 ampere so it divided into the two lines according to resistance the less resistance means the more current more resistance means the less current here current is 0.9 here current is you know 0.6 because Distance is more than this. So, okay, so this is all about uh, some questions related to the electric circuits. I think it is clear to you. If you have any difficulty, write me in my description box and I am giving my phone number 9888169226. Don't hesitate, write me your difficulty. I'll try to solve it.